Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to let you know, coming off of my last video on Friday, um, looking at some examples of managed stop losses and other stop loss examples. We have here one example called um, SLTP update with original lines. So stop loss, take profit, update with original lines. Um, I'm running this strategy now while the markets are open. Um, you can see here the strategy is running. Um, this is the log of, um, actually it's under messages here. You can see here there's a variety of positions open with the stop loss. And at the same time you can see that um, some of these uh, lines are being drawn on the stop loss and um, take profit lines. So they seem to be working right here. So I believe they are uh, being recorded right here. You're also um, seeing that the stop loss, and the take pro uh, profit price is changing and it's getting notified. So it is seems to be running okay. So I just wanted to show you that while I have the lines being um, drawn here and this is on a five minute chart so let's see how it is on a one minute how is it on a 10 second let's blow this up maybe a, a 10 minute line 15 minutes so here is a better 15 minute chart works better where you can see the um, take profit and original profit, or sorry, the stop loss and then take profit as well. So that's this strategy. So I'm just gonna, so we have two orders open right now. Uh, there is a distance of 3.6, 2.4 when you look at it, it's pending, but I'm just gonna close out the uh, position here now. So it does work, which is good on the Euro, US dollar. So we could run that on any currency pairs so we're losing a little bit of money here. Okay, so let me just go to the next strategy example with our stop loss. Okay, so that's stopped. So that gets automatically closed out. Now this new one is just a simpler managed stop loss. So let me just get rid of that. Let me clear out the messages here. Okay, so I'm going to launch this one called Manage SL Stop Loss. What you'll notice is it will automatically put out orders uh, and maintain a stop loss. So, once again, notification order changed and so on and so forth. So, I'll let you take a look at the code and work through it, but I just want to show you that this appears to run in its own unique way. Okay, going on to the next example, if the order price reached uh, five pits, if this is the case, then move the stop loss price to the open price. This is similar to what I want to do um, when you have a run on your uh, position if it gets profitable. So, um, so our p l is one penny. Mm -hmm. um, so let me just, so order canceled parent order. So we'll go through the source code at a later date. Just wanted to see these things running well. As I said, I have the markets open. So order accepted. So this is all fully automated with um, the uh, with the automation working with stop losses. So now we can manually uh, override it, I believe, in this example. Consider enhancing the prefix example such as the break-even level gets drawn on a chart as a line and the user can adjust the level by manually moving the line on the chart. Okay, so let's give that a whirl. That is called break-even HL line. So hopefully we can load it up. Break-even, I don't think we have it, do we? No, we don't. Not a problem. Let me just download this. Okay, let's go to my terminal here. Okay. We're going to 
the proper library application support, J4X, uh, strategies, and file agree. Okay. So we are going to, from our downloads, so it's called break even line that doesn't get not so it's called break even so if that is the case we do have a break even here so we'll load that then okay so here's the file so we just see if we can start running it so our euro us dollar pair so orders go in fine If I'm not mistaken here, we have the ability to change this stop loss. So we have here, um, there's a position, so we have one position here running, two orders. Because our messages are filled. So we have got two orders put on one position, so I believe. So I believe we can change the absolute or percentage. Okay, so I see. Um, so you can see here, here's our 20% move on the take profit on either end. So let me see, that's a 15 minute. Let's see if I can do a one minute. So here's our take profit. So if we stick with a 20%, let's see if we can do a 10 second. Uh, yeah, 10 second. Or should I do it by tick? Let's just do it by tick for three ticks. It's very interesting. So now we have all right. So we are bar data, three ticks. Let's do a candle. Maybe it might be better just to do a tick, see, see what happens here. Oh, there we go. Just doesn't automatically scroll for some reason. So our time is at 3.15. Okay, so we have here a jump of uh, about 10% out the net. Still new to this uh, platform. Gotta get the latest data. We just slow this down. Maybe ten seconds. So we're at uh, fifteen, sixteen. So now you had a. Today is the 25th, and we are sitting on the 27th. We just slow down the daily. Okay, so here we are here. So if I go four hours. So we have a variety of open positions. So here's our take profit and bid info. So we're just down here. So this is very interesting. 
which was try 10 minutes. Let's try one minute. Let's try 10 seconds. So it's 1915, 1918. There we go. There's some candles being updated right there. Here's our next one. Interesting. So there you go. Certain strategies that seem to be working with automated. Oh, we got one more. I forgot more than that. Let me just stop this strategy. Going to messages, position, chain, position, fill, position, summary. So we are PL at 61 cents. Bravo. Let's see if we can kill this strategy. Okay, let's go to the next one. So our next strategy is called. So this one called break even. Then we'll break even multiple orders. Consider applying the same break for multiple orders. Break even multiple orders. Okay, so let's see if we have that. Break even multiple orders. Okay, source code at this time. Let's fire her up. So again, we're just sticking with Euro US dollar. Six four positions have been put on. Might be a good time to test this. So we have three positions, two long, one short. We're doing not too bad right now. So break even multiple orders. Order has a profit 5.4. Okay, that's the previous strategy we ran. Okay, so here is our different lines of our stop loss. So we can edit the stop. So we can manually change these if we want. So that's what we're doing here. So we can edit the stop loss. So this is our stop loss. Stop loss greater than 1.8. Make it trailing. Sure, why not? Order accepted, more orders been put on. Order canceled. I'll have to dig through the code to figure out why. But just playing around here. Okay. Oh, we got a losing. Oh well. Okay, let me just stop this. And then we have our last example, global accounts. Okay, however, one can emulate the logic by keeping stop loss price level and strategy and closing the current opposite direction market order. Okay, let's see what happens here. So that one's called trailing step test. Okay, so we're trailing step. Said before we couldn't run it because the market was not open. We now are open, so let's run. Let's run. Okay, so we got a bunch of orders. Order. We're accepted. Okay, so we have here message notification, order accepted. Order changed, okay, so it's been filled. Stop loss changed too, so we are changing the stop loss here. Oh, I see, so there's multiple asset classes that we are. So we got the Euro, Norwegian. So, it's in. so we have Euro, US dollar, and the Euro, Norway. So it's probably automatically default subscribes to these what's available in our uh, list here. 
So I did a chart of so I don't think we can this position and the orders. Position summary, so we have a flat direction. Close position, merge position. That's more sophisticated. So here's our trailing order. Log, okay. So I guess we can, yeah, same as before, edit stop loss. So order filled. So it just happened there. Oh, we added a new order. Pretty cool. It's got an, oh, it's a trailing stop as well. is less than 9.26 so we have to dig into the code to see what it's really doing here but it looks like it's doing a variety of things which is good very cool anyways um, okay that's euro US dollar so we want the euro open chart So here we go. So here's our stop loss. Well, we could have done well there and there. Okay. Appears to be working. That was our goal of these videos. Positions. PL is negative. Okay, I'm gonna cut this and uh, start focusing on these things strategy-wise and code.